was tagged by Sore of the Concords. Uh, sour of the conchords, sore sore of the conchords, cords, swords, shorts. <laughs> One of the YouTube hotties tagged me, and it was I forgot what the question was. <laughs> sore of the conchords. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was tagged. <laughs> His question was, the most embarrassing moment. I have none. Seriously. I'm perfect. In case you're wondering, I am perfect. Um, no, but seriously. Most embarrassing moment. I have quite a few. <laughs> 32 years old. Kind of a wild child. Oh, I don't know which one to start with. I could either start with the one where I was homeschooled all my life until seventh grade and the first time I go back to public school and take the test, the entrance test to see how smart I am, they thought I was mentally retarded. No joke. <laughs> they stuck me in special ed classes <laughs> in seventh grade. I always had to duck into the classroom because I was afraid people would see me go in there. And of course, in seventh grade, most people are a little more mature, but in, in my class, they were saying, okay, hey, what's six plus six? Yes, Zoe, what is six plus six? <sighs> Twelve, teacher. Very good. Do you want a star, sticker, or candy? Hmm. Yeah. Honestly, after a week they realized she's not retarded. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, that was pretty embarrassing, though. I guess the next embarrassing thing uh, was one that I actually had proof of, unfortunately. <laughs> it's in my journal here. Yeah, I even wrote about it because I was scarred for life. Um, not so much that what I did, but the fact that they got living proof of it. I call it the cornfield incident. Basically, it was a big church event. And uh, everyone from my church was there and surrounding churches. It was a big camp out and then we had to go to this big church program. So it was kind of like a church retreat, if you will. Well, surrounding the campground was this huge cornfield. Hence why this is called the cornfield incident. And I uh, decided to go running through the cornfield because it looked cool. And then I thought, you know what's better than running through a cornfield? running through a cornfield in my bra and underwear. So I stripped down in my clothes. Me and my friend decided to strip down into our bras and underwears and go running through this cornfield because it was a hot summer day. Anyways, the cornfield stocks were so high that we lost our clothes. So we stood on the edge of the cornfield yelling to the kids who were in the campground to come bring us some towels. And uh, they went and told our moms. So our moms wouldn't come and save us until they realized they really are naked in there. So then they brought us some towels. and But we didn't know that they were going to bring us towels. So we start shoving corn stalks into our bras and underwear to make our uh, corn stalk outfits. So we could walk out in front of everybody. <laughs> Luckily, they came running to our aid and gave us towels. But uh, hence, you see the picture with the corn stalks sticking out of the towels. And our heads bowed in shame at a church activity. Oh, Another embarrassing story, the scab stash. That's gotta be pretty embarrassing. Let me just show you what the scab stash is all about. Basically, I get very bored, and when I get bored, I play around with things in my house, mainly my bathroom, because it's a lot of body products and facial things and hair masks, and well, one day I was cleaning out my bathroom, and there was some leg wax in there, and I thought, wow, I, I wonder if this will work on my face, because I was looking at my mirror, which is like, 10 times magnified so you can see every hair on your face. I'm like, whoa, I'm hairy. It's peach fuzz. Everybody has peach fuzz on their face, but I think I'm going to wax my upper lip. You know, you see Paris Hilton doing it and all the stars putting stuff on their upper lips. So I'll just use leg wax industrial strength on my upper sensitive lip. <laughs> Needless to say, I put on the wax, ripped it off, and guess what I had left? I still had to go to college. I still had to go to work. And all the while, trying to cover up this terrible scab that took place on my upper lip after I ripped off my skin. 
I tried to cover it up as much as possible with makeup, but basically I walked around looking like this. Let's just get a close up. Don't, don't look at me like that. What are you looking at me like that for? What? I just, I just waxed my upper lip. That's all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what I looked like for a week. This is the scab stash, but the only difference here is that when I smile, it doesn't start bleeding. When I had it before, it started bleeding. So never wax your upper lip with industrial strength leg waxer. This is what you'll look like. Ooh, Ooh give me a kiss. Oh, go, give me a kiss, baby. Mmm, sexy. I just, you know. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Mm. Very embarrassing. Mm. Yum. All right. Second question. Do I remember my dreams? Do I remember any dreams? Do I remember a dream? I remember one from when I was a little kid. Two years old, my mom says I was, and I still remember this. I had a dream that spiders were crawling all over my cousin. Not just any spider, but tarantulas all over my baby cousin. And he was in an outhouse. That's all I remember. <laughs> but I think it goes back to watching that movie, Something Wicked This Way Comes, where there's that big spider scene and it's crawling all over the kid's bed. So it kind of stuck with me as a two-year-old child. <laughs> Scarred for life. <laughs> spiders. <laughs> Find a happy place. <laughs> Find the happy place. <laughs> Wonder if I should tell him about that dream about Agent Eskimo. Oh, ah. There's always that dream where you're trying to run from trouble and you go in slow motion and you can't get your feet off the ground, so you're like, <laughs> then you try to scream and it's like, <laughs> so there you go, sore of the contour corks. Sort soap of the conchorts, YouTube hottie. <laughs> All right, so YouTube hottie tagged me. I've got to tag four other people. That's right in my face. So now I've got to make up two questions and tag four other people. So the people I want to tag are Shay Carl, because he's freaking hilarious, and he's my friend, and he's creative. I want to see what he does with it. Number two, free piece, Trish, your turn. Um, I would ask my friend Adam, but he doesn't get on YouTube all that much. Adam. Agent Eskimo, cause he's an Eskimo. He's hot, no, <laughs> cause he's really cool. Rick is really cool. So I'm gonna ask Rick, cause he's funny too. Um, and he hasn't made a video in a while. You know what? I'm gonna go for gold and say Shay Carl's wife has to make one as well. Let's make it a combined mutual activity for the two of them, if you know what I'm saying. So there you go, Katie Colette. Shay Carl's wife. <laughs> I hate YouTube names. That's the first question. Okay, here you go. What's your YouTube name and why did you choose it? Question number two. What's the most unique, fun thing that you love to eat that nobody hardly ever knows about, but you love it? And if so, you also have to post, like, a recipe to it and stuff. But, uh, like mine, I love mana energy drinks. Nobody knows about mana energy drinks, or at least not a lot of people that I know of. They look like little potion bottles. They're so cool, but you can only get them online. They're awesome. Something like that. So, number one, what's your username on YouTube, and why did you choose that? What does it mean? And number two, what's something weird that you enjoy that nobody else really knows about? There you go. Have fun creating your videos. I think I'm going to eat another scab. That was delicious.